Good morning. Good morning. We survived the first day at Yellowstone National Park. Woo! I don't know how though. You guys, where's my other little map? That's right here. So when you get to the National Park, they always give you all the little stuff so you can plan your trip. Mass, a little newspaper, it gives you all the information about the season, what to see, what not to see, what's closed, what's open. And I always love to collect these things and read them and you know and learn a little more about the places that I visit. I like to look at the pretty pictures. That's about <laughs> it. You don't read <laughs> well. When we got here yesterday, I was really excited to get out and explore. So I didn't go through this. I just kind of like, you know, glanced a little bit, but I didn't really you know, read it. Look what I found. You guys, we could be dead right now. Yellowstone is a dangerous place. Animals are dangerous. Do not approach or feed any animals. We all know that, right? We don't get near the animals. Bison, bears, and elk have injured and <laughs> Stay 100 yards, 91 meters, from bears and wolves. We haven't seen any bears. Yes. yes. Besides this one that I have at home. This one is more of a teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> Stay 25 yards from all other animals. Yesterday, we encountered buffaloes. Like they are everywhere. And one of them was like within two feet from the car and I had my window open. So I guess that's not. We so couldn't help it there. I mean, we couldn't drive off the road. Oh, the buffalo was minding its own business. Like honestly, they could care less about us. But still, like, I guess according to this, I mean... You don't want to be off the car and then go and try to pet one. It's no, pretty much okay. what they're trying to get to. Do not stop or block the road. <laughs> Guilty. Uh, we were driving and every time I saw some wild uh, life, I was like, stop! <laughs> stop! Hold on! So, I guess I'm not supposed to do that. So if I see wildlife and I don't catch it on camera, then I guess you guys missed it out. This is what really scared me. Be prepared to encounter bears. Carry spray and know how to use it. We don't have any bear spray. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we need to go buy some. And you need to hike in groups of three or more. We're sure one person. Who wants to join us? <laughs> Who wants to come and join us? We're at Yellowstone <laughs> National Park West entrance. And yeah, we're short one person. So it's only two of us. And they recommend to stay in groups of three or more. Where are my aventureros when I need them the most? <laughs> you know how we hike in packs of 20 or more. Make noise to avoid surprise encounters. He is kind of loud, so <laughs> we got that covered. All right, we got that one. <laughs> Never run from a bear, slowly back away. I'm lazy, so I'm not running. <laughs> we got that covered. Honestly, I don't know how I'm going to act when I see a bear, if I see one. I don't know if I'm going to scream of excitement or fear or everything combined. He's going to scream throw me at the bear, and then run. That's, don't do that. <laughs> okay. Uh, keep food and trash in bear-proof storage. So we don't have any food in the car. I mean, we But have we're not camping either, no, so that doesn't really we're stay in the room safe this time. <laughs> you are responsible for your own safety. So we need to go buy some bear spray before we take off and we start exploring because, yeah. And we need to adopt another person. So yeah. we need to, we're on a mission <laughs> to find another friend to join us in this adventure because we don't want to be attacked by a bear. Let's get started with today's. Let's go find a bear. I no, mean, no stay spray. away from a bear. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what I got? Food for the bears. <laughs> we got bear spray. <laughs> yes. I feel more safe now. We can go off and explore. Let's go. Take on the bear. Sure, why not? Let me just cross the road <laughs> right here. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh, wow. Hey, we need to clean the windshield. <laughs> oh, he's so pretty. Look at the little one over there. 
They look so unbothered. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, usually I get upset when there's a traffic jam, but this is the one I don't mind. <laughs> Here we are, first stop of the day. All right, so this was your idea. You wanted to see this one really bad. Guilty. This is the old faithful. They can predict when it's gonna explode by 10 minutes. So we should be seeing it erupt either 10 or 15 minutes. And it'll okay. be awesome. The very famous Yellowstone Gazer, Old Faithful. It was named for its frequent and somewhat predictable eruptions. It has erupted over a million times ever since Yellowstone became the world's first national park back in 1872. average height of an eruption is between 130 and 140 feet and it can last between one and a half and five minutes. The water is very hot you guys. During an eruption the water temperature has been measured at 204 degrees Fahrenheit. Old Faithful erupts about 20 times a day so if you're planning to visit the park I highly recommend you to put it on your Yellowstone bucket list. Wow. That was really cool. It was a good show. It was a nice show. We weren't sure if it was happening because it was just a little spurt at first and we're like, is that it? But then it got really, really big. It was awesome. It was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to our next stop. Let's go.